right now. Anyway, good morning, everyone. It is, uh, I don't know what day it is. What day is it? It's the 13th. There's Wednesday, the 13th of December of 2017. Uh, and we're back with Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Where are we? Did you take her to the cemetery? These are my parents' graves. Rex, you don't do that. What? Sorry. I guess I never properly told you about myself. I'm... No. It's fine. I'm sorry. I never thought to ask. I wanted you to meet them, though. <sighs> to meet them? How do you mean? Hey, Mom, Dad. First date me and Lily went on was the cemetery. What happened, you know? I became a driver. And this girl is Pyra. My new partner. Partner? I know, you'd love her. We, we're going to Elysium, Pyra and me. I don't know what's coming next but you'll be watching over us right guys okay so he Rex? actually did have parents interesting right let's head back okay with all of his lines i thought maybe he was grown in a vat blade waifu is the secret to happiness Nia, what the fuck is that kind of pose? I'm so sorry making you wash up like this. No, no, don't worry about it. I don't have to be in a fight to be able to help people. I like it. You're a dear. Rex is very lucky you're around. He's never brought a girl to meet me before. Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. It's not like that. I'm just Rex's blade. Is that so? You do hear of blades and drivers getting married a lot in the old stories. Uh... This is a lovely village. <laughs> Everyone's so warm and carefree. It's removed from everything, you see? I think if everyone could live like this, the world might be a happier place. You know, between you and me, I think, deep down, Rex still misses his mother and- Do you think? In a way, you remind me of her. What? Just a tad. What? Of Rex's mother, really. Oh. Actually- Oh no. He took me to say hello oh, to his parents. Oh, no. Ah. You know, Rex wasn't born here in Fonset. He must have been two years old when he came ashore here with his poor mother. Oh, yeah, they're from Elysium. Totally. Maybe it was war or a dying titan. But they'd lost their home, sure enough. I gather it was a great struggle to get here. She was so weak. She asked me to look after Rex, and that was the last thing she said. What about the father? She seemed so lovely too. And his father. We found his body about three titan peds away Three from titan peds? He came so far, if only he'd made it a little farther. Such a sad business. How awful. That boy has suffered enough loss for one life. That's why he became a salvager, you know? To find some way up to Elysium. To salvage his life. It's poetry. Shakespeare. And then he lost fandom. Yep, that's the same level as losing his parents. In that case, 
Maybe it's not good for me to be by Rex's side after all. Why? Oh, Bridge is listening. You <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> oh, I am. But with me here, he'll suffer even more, lose even more. So maybe, maybe Rex is better off without me. Rex, and the whole world, they don't need me. That's just how it feels. Now, dear. Okay, time to move All right, out. Time for the rainbow parade to leave. Out, Rex! You take care now and keep yourself out of trouble, Azurda. Ah, oh, you know me. I prefer the quiet life. Thank you for everything. Pirate, dear. I don't know what you've been through before, but you should know you're not alone anymore. Rex is a strong boy. You can depend on him whenever and wherever you need him. I know. I'll try. Huh. What was all that about? Nothing at all. Right? Nothing for your ears, Rex. You just concentrate on what you're doing. Work hard and do your best. Sure. I will. Hmm. 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 I don't know, but I don't know. I I, I feel like I'm I'm catching on to something here. Okay, let, let I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna make a prediction. I'm gonna make a prediction, but it's it's really it's really subtle, so I'm not sure. But I think, I think that there might be some sort of romantic tension building between Rex and Pyra. I know that might sound, that might sound like it's coming out of nowhere, but, um, you know, you know, I've, 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 I've written some books, I've read a lot of books, so, um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty keen on picking up these sort of things, but I'm, I'm thinking that there might be some sort of romantic thing going on between the two of them. Now, the game is playing it really close to the chest, and as you can see from Pyra, that doesn't mean much that they're keeping it close to the chest. That's not really close at all. But, you know, I, 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 ha I, have, I have a feeling that maybe that's what's happening, you know? I have a feeling. I don't know. Yeah, I have a feeling. She's, I, I, think, I think maybe they're getting bigger. And she still has no butt either. I just really, I just, in, in Discord the other day, I said the, 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 the motto of, of, of this, of this, of the developer that designed uh, Pyra was that make a girl with ass, that's not gonna pass. Make a girl with big breasts, that's the best. <laughs> that's, that's the motto behind Pyra and Mithra and everyone else. Alright, so now we do the heart to heart with Wolfric. Hurrah, cool, hurrah. Wolfric? What big voice about? You seem to be getting very worked up for something. What Wolfric planning? I want to talk more with others, but everyone is scared of me. I am not a scary person. I want them to see that. Wolfric is kind blade who doesn't even crush ants on par. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good idea to talk to people if you want them to understand you. Maybe talking hard for Wolfric, though. Growling more normal for him. Yes, everyone runs from my voice. That is the problem. How can I fix this? Uh, Japanese dubs, Wolf Wolfric. That'll do it. How about you help out that crying kid? Well, it looks like a senior citizen's in trouble over there. You can help her. What? These are the choices? Okay. Sending Wolfric, the, the Diablo monster, over to a crying kid isn't going to do shit. And sending over to a senior citizen might give that senior citizen a heart attack. But I think that's that's the better choice. That's that's what we're going with. That's the better well, choice. Well, looks like a senior citizen's in trouble over there. You could help her. Very good. 
Maybe if Wolfric does nice thing for someone, people know Wolfric nice. Dora will tag along. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Are you okay, old lady? Oh, I've been trying to get back home, but my knees are right done in. My eyes aren't up to much either. If I get a bit out of breath, I can't see a blessed thing. Oh, uh, madam, let me help you. Oh, thank you so much, young man. I'm much obliged. Okay to walk? Yes, I think I can manage that. Oh, what's this here? <laughs> Funny place to put a rock. Uh, no, that's part of my body. What? What? Oh, oh my. What a burly gent I'm getting walked home by. The neighbors will be talking. Madam, watch your step. What the bloody hell's that thing? A bloody monster's what it is. Oh, sounds like there's a bit of a commotion. It is nothing. Just some monster. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Let's get home quick. Do not worry, madam. I will protect you. Oh, my hero. I don't doubt it. This is where you live? Yes, this is my humble abode. Thank you so much, young man. Will you tell me your name? Wolfric. I am Wolfric. Oh, that's a funny name. <laughs> but thank you, Mr. Wolfric. Oh, you are most welcome. You did great there, Wolfric. A few more good deeds like that, and everyone will know what a nice guy you are. Yes. I must keep being nice. Keep being kind. The power of friendship. Everyone, thank you. There's, it's, ju it's just Rex and... It's just Rex and Tora that's here. Everyone, it's just Rex and Tora. Finally. We don't have to do all four. Sweet time. You're the... Hey, Charlotte. Hey. You just don't give up, do you? Come on, out the way. More like stubborn leech than turtle. <laughs> this time I'm here for something a little bit different. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? I want to see just how good you are, chum. I've been waiting here for three whole days already. Three days? Seriously? You know what? No thanks. I don't pick on idiots. Well then. Fight me and we'll see who's the idiot. Good counter there, Zeke. How did you know that we'd be here? I'll tell you if you can beat me. You wanna join the fun too? No. You all go ahead. Um. Huh? You're in the party, Why? Morag. What a shame. Looks like the illustrious Flamebringer won't be helping you this time. But, no. <laughs> Thanks for the concern and all. But not me, me. You worrying about yourself. No. Big tree to your right, big rock to your left, and a cliff right behind you. Why are you Which forcing Tor on time, me? Yeah? Not today, furry ears. Check this. Is Zeke her brother or something? Well, feel like taking me seriously yet? Hmm? Oh, so strong. What the Damn, he's not fucking around. We're that? just losing the cinematic before we even fight. Zeke. Tantal's most powerful driver. 
and its crown prince. Oh, he's a prince. Crown prince of Tanta. This guy. It is quite the rare opportunity to see his swordsmanship firsthand. Now this is more like it. Ooh, come on, yeah. Keep it coming. Ooh. That's it. That's all I get. Oh, fine. Anyway, ready to concede defeat to the Zika Honestly, I am. If this, if that makes it stop. We're only just warming up, you pompous ass. <gasps> I'm right with you. Let's show him what we got. <laughs> yes. Why does Why Let's does Rex have Mithra's blade up. when Pyra is out? Literally unplayable. Oh no, it's not. My bad. It just looked like it from the angle. Never mind. Never mind. I take back my snark. God damn it with the fucking meh meh meh. I really don't like that. Not bad, chum. Right back at you. Impressive. Didn't think I'd ever see another driver and blade on Moragon Bridge's level. You're still holding back. Where's the Aegis's true power? Mithra's power is only for fighting bad guys. I mean, oh, that's so sweet. So I'm a good guy now. We is switched to Mithra in the fight. Am I wrong? <laughs> I like your attitude there, chum. Well, that's an Aegis's driver for you. How did we do, Your Highness? Sure, you pass. I think we can just about let you into the Praetorium. What the hell? I've been working for Indel for a while now. A kind of special envoy. They asked me to keep an eye out for the Aegis. Actually, I volunteered to. You know how it is. I'm jolly sorry for testing you like that. Jolly sorry? We were planning on getting this over with in one encounter, but His Highness has the most awful luck, so... Yeah, I think I got that. What are you talking about? Everyone has bad days, right? Uh. Ah! Huh? Why me? We're blasting off again. Oh no, he fell into the clouds that are totally not water. There he goes. Hmm, bad luck indeed. Uh, should we go rescue him? Nah. He'll find his own way back up somehow. Let's just board the ship. Don't let go, Jack. Don't let go. I really love Nia's voice, and I don't care who knows it. Says Foxy. Die. I like Nia's voice too. I like I like Nia's voice. I don't. I've I've listened to some of the Japanese, um, the Japanese uh, voice acting, and I and I don't think it is it is unanimously better. Some of it's better. Don't please don't don't get me wrong. Some of it is better, but I don't think all of it is better. Oh, so pretty, amazing. Whoa, it's so grand. Sure, because they're trying too hard. <laughs> you don't have to be like that. What did you say? Something? Why did her mouth move oh, when it was an internal no, dialogue? Nothing. <laughs> Your audience with the Praetor is scheduled for a <laughs> Why did her mouth move when it was internal dialogue? That, maybe you'd all like to have a look around? See the sights of Indol? Sounds like a pretty rare opportunity. Yeah! Let's look around city! Tora want to see everything! What are we, tourists? There's no harm in that, is there? This would be a first for me, too. Right. You were a bit big to go running around Indol before now. Oh, that's a funny image. Okay, I need I need everyone I need everyone in chat to just channel their luck right now then. Every, everyone everyone channel their luck. <clears throat> Here we go. Ready? Channel their luck. Three, two, one.
<gasps> it worked. We got a waifu. Oh no, not a waifu at all. Not a waifu at all. Not a waifu. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know how things will turn out, but I'll do my best. Oh no. Oh, she's a tank. That's good. All right, cool. All right, we lucked out. She's a tank. Why why does why do they have a little girl wearing that with 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 the cutout like i i'm i'm a little i'm a little uncomfortable is that just anime is that an anime thing that i don't understand japan minimum age of consent is 13 don't worry she's fine that that sounds wrong but i don't know enough about japan to dispute it and what does okay tasty sausage on tour is just just a given right what after all your dreams about tasty fucking sausages, you don't even like them? You lying piece of shit. This is why you're 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 fucking the worst character to her. Fucking Jerry. No more blades, no more war. What does that mean? That, my fuzzy-eared friend, is an anti-blade protest. The refugees have really been going at it since last year or so. Oh, where do you come from? <laughs> what do you do? Swim, yeah? Did blades do something wrong? The Praetorium is single-handedly responsible for doling out core crystals to other countries. Oh, sometimes the likes of Dougal and Banner grab a piece of the pie. Therefore, Indol has the power to control war itself. That's one way of looking at it. At least. But war is about much more than just blades and drivers. I know that, and you know that, but that doesn't mean they're gonna accept it. I guess so. There's a lot of... Gormotti here. They fled the Gormotti War ten years ago. But here they are, refugees still. Yes, they're a funny old lot, you know. We feed them, we water them, and this is the thanks we get. What the fuck? Don't these ruffians know that manners cost nothing? What are you trying to say I right swear, now, game? You lend these people a hand and they want the whole bloody arm. It's easy to disregard things beyond your control. And direct your anger at targets closer to hand. Hmm. Do you have something to say? Not really. Out with it, Rex. More ordains Titan. It's dying, and everybody knows it. That's why they... Why you need Gormot. Our population is large. Larger than Uriah's. But you don't have the resources to support all those people. You are astute for someone so young. Those salvagers pick up more than just artifacts. <laughs> I'm not daft. I know fine words alone won't change reality. So you seek Elysium. Is that wrong? No. I was just reminded how young you are. Still, if it's Rex, or people who are up on about justice with no solutions, I'm betting on Rex. I must admit, I do respect the boy's drive. Ah, I'm just stumbling my way forward. When did Nia get one over that hard? Or I guess is is Nia's attitude no one can pick on Rex but me? Morag, can I ask you something? Go ahead. Rex is the one who woke up Mithra. And I think he appreciates what that means. And? It's just that, well, you're not doing anything to stop us. Why is that? 
Because of Adam. <laughs> Five hundred years ago, he became this great hero who we celebrate even today. But I know him only through legends. A chance to see what his blade is capable of for myself? I confess, I was intrigued. So here I am. You know I'm not Adam, right? <laughs> but you are the Aegis's driver. Oh, Rex. The second you're under Imperial control, you won't be that hero anymore. Huh. I'm not sure I follow. People with great power should be their own masters. Is that what you mean? Close enough. You can interpret it that way if you like. <laughs> Even the mighty Flamebringer can be bloody hard work sometimes. Can't you just admit the real reason? I don't like what you're implying. What? What's the real reason? Does ever does everyone want to bang Rex? Is it Breath of the Wild the all over again? The Praetorium is beyond this gate. Here you will find the main administrative facilities. With your permission, I'll show you to your lodgings. Your audience with the Praetor is scheduled for tomorrow in the Sanctum's audience chamber. Meh. If there is nothing else, I shall take my leave. Meh, meh. Okay. Thanks for all your help. Meh. My pleasure. Good night. Meh, 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 meh. Night. Meh. Hey, Pyra. So, Adam, what kind of a person was he? Should I ask Mithra? No, no, it's fine. I was just wondering. He was incredible. Incredible? In Mithra's memories, I mean. I knew him only very briefly before I went to sleep. But Mithra can't remember a more... Genuine, courageous person. Meh. She had never met a more wonderful man. He sounds like a real hero. Mm hmm. And you remind her of him a lot. Oh, I do, do I? Great. Wait, what? <laughs> I suppose Mithra won't be very pleased I told you that. Pyra, come on. I agree with her, you know. <laughs> Can you guys just bump core crystals already? Oh, it's cold this morning. Miss Fan. Has somebody got a little crush? Nia, what are you doing here? Early riser. Always have been. Oh, I see how it is here. I wonder what Pyra and Mithra would think. Hey, no. You got the wrong... Just... Just what? Go on. I don't know. I thought she looked... sad. Oh. Good morning, you two. There's still some time before your audience. Sorry, we just woke up really early. Ah, oh, I see. That's a pretty nice mural. Very <laughs> grand. It depicts the creation of Alras. Oh, looks good. They say this mural was painted long ago, when the nation of Indol was still new. Oh, you've been looking at it for a while? They're missing. What do you mean by they? My memories. I know that I must have been around since this mural was first painted, or even earlier, but I don't remember that time at all. Maybe you painted it, Hayes. Well, you are a blade. I don't know who I was, or what You I might did. be a blade too, Nia, okay? All bets are off on all of this really game. Like to. Rex is a blade, Nia is a blade. lived for an awful long time. Maybe she'll know something about you. 
Mithra called me Haze earlier. Could it be possible that she met me somewhere before? Sometime in the past? Do you want to ask her later? Could I? Thank you very much. No, no need to thank me. You helped us too. Look at you going all red. I'll tell Pyra, I swear. What? I told you it's not like that. We'll see. Hey, relax. You'll give yourself wrinkles. A driver and blade are one in body and soul. It was you who told me that. Well, the other you, I mean. You mean Mithra? Of course. It was 500 years ago, so perhaps you have forgotten. Why haven't you forgotten? Oh, I do remember saying that. Wait, how, so it's true? how old's Morag? But how could she yeah, possibly okay. remember? You're wondering how I could remember words from so long ago? Yes. What's this? You could call it a diary, I suppose. <laughs> It contains <laughs> details about my past lives. It's the only way I have to remember. Well done. Well done, game. When we return to the core crystal, our minds are wiped clean of all memories. Though a blade's life is eternal, our effective lifespans as individuals are far shorter than a human's. You know, it's not just me. A lot of blades try to preserve their memories in journals like this one. Even though it's often futile. After all, a core crystal cannot protect a diary. Usually, the volume is lost to us, along with our memories. I'm fortunate amongst blades. I'm passed down as an imperial treasure and recorded in official chronicles. Uh, Bridget? I don't know where your true intentions lie. I can only make an educated guess. But Rex, he is your driver. If you truly trust him, I would advise you tell him everything. Wait, you where is she keeping that, that book and that outfit? Well, the game doesn't, the game doesn't rarely make sense about that for carrying stuff. All. I just... If you care about him, it's even more important. I know what it's like to be afraid of rejection. Nice shot there. I really do. But... If you don't tell him now, you're just storing up pain for later, not making it easier. The way you say that, you really do see right through me. Well, we go back a long way, as you recall. And we're both blades, after all. See, that, that was cool that it's like, okay, well, what kind of plot hole bullshit is this going to be? How does she remember? And it's like, oh, I just write it down. And that, 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 that's, a, that's a good... A good twist there i like that um it would be better if, if they went okay well a lot a lot of blades do this now so they so they write their journals down so there's this whole maybe faction that that will accept the records of blades because blades don't change right when when Walfric was Walfric before he just lost his memory same with rock they would they, so there should be like a service for blades especially since some blades act like normal citizens that they can they can send their memories to this place in in, in safekeeping because how do you how do you keep a book with your core crystal when once you're down in a core crystal the book is gone too right or it might get lost like like Bridget said so that would be that would, if if they went if they followed that to its logical conclusion that could be kind of cool if there was a, a service set up for 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 chronicling it all for blades. Oh, it's a flashback, we can tell from the tent.
Have we seen you before, Spooky Man? I think we have, haven't we? Father waits above. Meh. Oh, you're the guy that went up and got the driver the blades. Okay. You got Malice and, and, and Mithras. Mithra. I'm confused if that was Adam who went there. No, I think Adam was the one that, that used Mithra's core crystal, whereas this guy's the one that uses Malice. I missed that, what happened in that scene there. Shit. Did he fall? Yeah, he uses he uses the, the, the purple one. And Adam uses the green one. Praetor. Praetor Amalthus. I don't know why he didn't use both. You're still alive? Interesting. The boy has arrived, your eminence. Thank you. He's a blade too. Probably. I've heard much. Hi, uh, you're not the Praetor, are you? Rex. No Indeed, I am Amalthus. I understand your surprise. I imagine you expected somebody older. Um. We heard that you were Cole's driver. Yep. You look your, your pretty. Eminence. Sorry, sorry. He looks pretty old, Rex. No need for formalities. I am a mere representative of the Praetorium. The name Praetor is simply a decoration, if you will. In any case, we're the same, you and I. Aegis drivers. I consider us equals. <laughs> I feel a bit better now you've put it that way. Your eminence. You're different somehow. I seem to recall a more forceful personality. Oh, I almost forgot. Here. <laughs> I got this from Cole. He said it belonged to you. Please. Ah, Cole. That brings back memories. We're looking for a way to Elysium. Cole told us that you would know the way. Blades can have blades, by the way. I have to get to Elysium to to save all rest any way I can. I mean, we won't know for sure what we can do until we get there, I suppose. But if the stories are true, it's somewhere we can all live safely. It has to be real. Long ago. Too long ago, I used to think like you. What? Indeed, it led me to climb the world tree. However, I did not find Elysium. Or the architect. Um. I believe it was because I was unworthy. No, blades really can't have blades. We already met a blade that had a blade. I can't remember who it was, but we met a blade that had a blade. Rex. 
I know your desire all uh, too well. Are we just? I shall help you. Are we gonna not acknowledge that, that just happened? Really? Or wait, no, what? Thank was you it, so much. Is that just for us? No need for thanks. This may be Ooh. my destiny. The reason I've lived all these years, and now. Pyra. My name is Pyra. Um. I would be honored to have a moment alone with Pyra. I'd like to reminisce a little. So old man Cole really did know the Praetor. Who'd have thought? World is small place. Will Pyra be okay by herself? He's the Praetor, Dinwit. What's he gonna do? Eat her? Um, Back there, phrasing here. I felt something weird Fuck, for phrasing. a second. What? Um, Rex? It felt like we were talking to that Malos guy. Good flashback there. Okay, so he did see it. You're imagining things. You know he's Malos's driver and it's messing with your head. They not seem alike to me. No, I know. It was just for an instant. Just this one moment where I couldn't tell if we were talking to the Praetor or Malos. Sorry, I'm not explaining it well. So can 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 a a blade there corrupt the driver? Influenced a lot by their drivers during resonance. Yeah. Their appearance, their personality. That's probably all it is. Perhaps it was due to your bond with Pyra. That could have heightened your perception of such things. It was painted 1500 years ago. Even through exposure to the elements, it has never needed repair, always as pristine as the day it was made. The technique is long forgotten. <laughs> It looks kind of faded and worn to me. I often wonder if we are growing as a people, or in fact, regressing. What do you think? Well, I'm just amazed at how little you've changed. Has nobody ever wondered about that? I am Indoline, and the driver of an Aegis. It keeps me young. If you say so. Why do this now, though? You've never let anyone go there before, have you? Times change, Mithra. So do people. That's not an answer. I would like to believe there is one who can reach the Architect and save this dying world. Is that really so strange? And Rex is the one. Would you have resonated with him if he did not hold such potential? Well, I don't think she had much of a choice. He touched the sword and was about to die, and I don't think she's about to be captured. I don't know. I'm not sure. Do you still think this game is a satire, and should I get the game? Um... Just because, yeah, it is mostly, but it's not. It's not one hundred percent. I think they are trying to do some other stuff outside of that, but I think it is. It is mostly satirical. Yeah, mostly satirical. Right now, it's not. In in the sequence, it's not. In the sequence, it's trying to be serious for a minute. But yeah, it's most. It's mostly. It's mostly a joke. Sorry, I keep you waiting, everyone. But maybe that's part of the joke is that you need these serious moments and to to to, to set up for for the jokes and 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 the twist later. But it has been more funny than it hasn't been. Let's put it that way. Welcome back, man. How was it, Pyra? Mostly he was just talking with Mithra. They knew each other before, right? Yes. Honored guests. Oh, fan, meh. You must be tired after these events, so please rest here another night. She may have a point. All we really did was talk to Pr Praetor Amalthus, but I feel quite worn out. Let's take them up on that offer. Yeah, sounds like a good plan. Tora, not object. Want to sleep on a fluffy, puffy bed every night, meh. Then let's return to the sanctum. 
Why are they fighting for land if they have so much open land everywhere? Yeah, I don't get it either. Apparently the Titans are dying, but yeah. Maybe all of them are dying. Oh shit, Ryan's here. Still intact after all these centuries. Amazing. Pinnacle of flesh eater technology. Tenacious creatures, humans. Okay, so you're not human? What are you then, Jen? I'm so sorry. Are you a blade? We've never seen Jin's blade. Who's Jin's blade? Rex. Rex is Jin's blade. I see. Nia. Very well. Morag. It appears Senator Roderick paid a visit to the Praetorium last night, off the record. Did you know that? No. I haven't heard anything from His Majesty. Why now, I wonder? I can't imagine he was just paying his respects. F. Do you think it's something to do with the excavation? Temperantia? Hmm. The issue His Majesty mentioned. If that is the case, he must be making covert deals with the Praetorium. Crush that man! So this is the weapon that the excavated it has the power to kill Titan, right? So Jin is piloting it to attack what? Where we are right now? Were they excavating on the same Titan continent? I didn't catch that part. Sincere apologies, everyone, but I come with an urgent request. Please go to the audience chamber at once. Give you an opinion. As you may know, there is a demilitarized zone between Moradain and Uriah. Temperantia, think of it as a buffer between the two nations. We've received word of fighting in the area. Moradain are in possession of a Titan weapon. They're advancing as we speak towards the Uriah garrison. Impossible! Well, the two countries' titans are at their closest right now. You're saying we were waiting for a chance to strike? Unthinkable. Our people would never go to war against His Majesty's will. At any rate, we must investigate. Yes, you're right. Praetor, I beg your leave. We need to find out what's going on. Your Eminence. Thank you. Your Eminence, we... Might I ask you to assist Special Inquisitor Morag in her investigation? We have no reason to refuse, and you needn't worry about me. I am quite grateful to hear that. Let's go after them. Hurry!
really. Look at them dancing. Look how happy these shitheads are. Look, oh, look, oh, yeah, we're back in the group. Yeah, it can't keep us away. Yeah, doing my little twirl. Yeah, meh, 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 meh. Yeah, look, look, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're so good. Yeah, fuck you, Tora. Who? Attack while moving. Who's responsible for this? Preparations are still ongoing. If we attack now, we could. What have you done, Senator Roderick? Special Inquisitor. What are you doing here? The Emperor ordered that the dig be halted. He was very specific, Senator. If you've restarted it, you have violated His Majesty's will. The Emperor doesn't understand Moradain's urgent lack of resources. This is for the Empire. Your patriotism is touching. But that doesn't explain why you're waging war with Uriah! It wasn't me. I did not give that order. Even I would never dream of declaring war without His Majesty's express consent. So who in the... Morag? Who? Who are these people? Busting in here. They're main characters, can't you this tell? This is the driver of the Aegis. You are to afford him the same respect as me. This is him? I heard the rumors, but this boy... There are rumors now. Wow. Am I really that famous? Do you have any idea how much it costs to repair a water tower? <laughs> so less famous, more infamous. Morag? <laughs> Is Morardane really attacking? <laughs> they are, as much as I hate to admit it. Tell me, what's going on? Tricky indeed. If this escalates into all out war. The timing is all wrong. We can't win this fight. Not now. Sounds like you were planning to start this sooner or later, sly rat. Maybe save the accusations for now. But the Empire never really wanted a war, did it? That core crystal. Don't tell me you're the. Answer me! You're right. It's the same core crystal the Pyre has. Mithra? Who stands to gain from an Ardanian Orion war? Who gains? You don't mean. Torna. Jin and Torna. It's very possible. But how? Maybe just coincidence after all? Master Pawn. I wish I could believe that. Inquisitor Morag, please. You are the only one who can put a stop to this. It's a bit late for that, don't you think? But I'm not going to sit back and watch. Bridget? Right. Morag. Rex, this is an Imperial matter. We can't ask for your aid in this affair. Not if it's really a coincidence, like Tora said. But, if Toner are really involved, doesn't that make this our problem too? But... Think of it as compensation for the water tower. How's that? I knew you'd go there. You're so noble, it hurts. Says the nobility, Prince. Very well. Can I ask you to help me again? Yep, we're on the case. Yes, of course. I'll accompany you. Bam? What's happening in Temperantia right now? It's being led by a weaponized Titan, correct? My power doesn't only affect Blades. It also works against Titans. I am certain I can be of assistance. Besides... Besides? I have the strangest feeling that... I'm somehow meant to be there. Wow. Fan Lenorn. You. You, 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 that's the end? You what? Okay, that was a weird ending. So how do you get 
So how do we get to Temperantia? If Senator Roderick is here, I assume there must be an Ardanian military vessel stationed at the port. Then we go to, to port and get on Ardanian Titan battleship. Meh. All right, then. There's no time to waste. Let's go. Okay. Great. Why not just have the cutscene just move into the next cutscene and not have to do the port? Why? 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 Why do this? Why not just have them run after, just run down the stairs after Morag, have the scene, and then we don't have to do this shit. The the the, the slide into the mech or the the other stream killed me. Like it was so good. Hey, remind me again why we bring in this spanner. Because this sounds like fun. Spanner. We're not on holiday. Yeah? I've heard a lot about these Torna people. They're the ones collecting core crystals, yeah? And besides, I can't pretend this doesn't concern us too. Not when they're calling themselves Torna. Shall I? Sure, it's not a joke. Are you sure? Sure, it's not a joke. 3,333 life. Wow, that's way less than what he had in uh, in, in, in the cutscene when we were fighting him. Damn. Lady Morag, greetings. I have news from the front. Our Titan weapon has crossed the central border. It's advancing at about 40 Titan pets per hour. I want to get in front of it. Is there a suitable place to dock? There's a bay fairly close by. If you dock there, you should be able to get to the cliffs above it. Understood. Go. Yes, ma'am. I usually turn a stream or video off if I have to watch an ad, but I would suffer any ad for you, Mr. Anderson. Uh, you shouldn't get any ads on this stream apart from the first one when you when you first join, which I can't turn off. At least I don't think I can. But you shouldn't get any ads during these streams. I don't have them set up. And uh, I don't think I ever will either. There'll be no ads when I stream. I don't put any ads on the VODs either for, for on YouTube, which some people are mad at me about. I put up a seven hour video and there's only one ad. And people are like, are you fucking crazy? <laughs> like who who wants to watch ads, come out, right? Come out. I, I don't want to bug people with that shit. Do you think the next Dark Souls Bloodborne game would benefit from Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Battle Cries? Oh yeah, absolutely. Parry, block, block. Trick weapon, transform. Ludwig's blade. Okay, Swing, bring it on. dodge. Every single time, every single time your character rolls in Dark Souls Four, it sh it should do a a a, 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 a meh. So when if you're fighting Pontus Sullivan in Dark Souls Four, because he's he's in it dodge. for some reason. It would just be meh 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 in the combo. That that just 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 the best game. Just the best game. I also think that after you run out of Estus charges, that your character should rip off their helmet and their hair should go blonde to represent that they're that they're that they're they're pushing themselves to the limit. That they're out of healing and this is their last stand, and that your your damage also also should go up. That would be pretty good. Should the bosses do their attacks as well? Yeah, oh, definitely. And when you die, instead of it saying you died, it should come up with, you're done. <laughs> in, in the red letters. <laughs> didn't stand a chance look over there watch out here it comes <laughs> everyone okay just about I think we 
begun the Clone Wars have. On its back, there's an Ardanium drive mechanism. If we can somehow sever the cables connecting it to each leg, its energy supply will be cut off. It'll stop. Lady Mithra, I presume you'll be able to destroy them. Good plan. Sure. That sounds like a feasible measure. That is, if we don't mind reducing the whole area to ashes. What do you mean? I read instruction manuals. <laughs> it's my job to know these things. The weapon is powered by vaporized Titan bodily fluids. The gas it makes is completely unstable. It's reason I don't know why I just find it funny. And we have a giant I read instruction manuals. There was an accident here just three months ago because we didn't see how unstable it was. If we just attacked without realizing that. Oh, damn it! Why make a weapon that dangerous? As long as we got the weapon inside enemy lines, destroying the weapon would destroy them too. That was the justification given. That's so cold, it's almost impressive. That's exactly why the Emperor called a halt to the Zeke has a, we get it, like a scar on his board. chest. You seen that? The control center is protected by 10 layers of armor. The chances of it being breached or destroyed are low. But that armor is limited. It doesn't entirely cover the energy cables. So, it's them or nothing. How we get up on Titan's back? Well, Poppy can fly, so. Poppy can fly, sharks can swim, birds can sing, but that's about it. Up ahead, there's a spot where the cliff Again. out. If we can get up there, we'll be able to jump on. Or its Poppy back. could fly. But if our timing's off, we go head first down to the bottom of the cliff. And we'd have to make it across, avoiding its attacks all the while. I'll take care of it. Fun? I mean, I'll stop the Titan moving. While it's stopped, you all jump onto its back. Fun. You've. All right then. I keep Will hearing fam instead of fan. Don't worry. <laughs> I will. Then let's go. You got it, fam. Almost there. Ah, we can't get closer. Allow me. Fam. Fam. Leave her. She'll be fine. Trust me. Oh wow! What the hell? Now. Let's move! Yeah! We just need to cut that! Oh. An independent defense mechanism. Ardanian technology. My apologies. Why would you even bloody make something like that? Bitch later, fight now. Bitch later. Seems like it. It's you. I thought it might be. Jin! I knew it. So this is Jin, leader of Torna. I am Fan Lenorin. As envoy of Praetor Malthus, I am bringing you into custody. How ironic. That you should speak his name with that face, oblivious to everything, even your own identity. What? Do you know something about... And you, Aegis. Don't you dare stand there, acting like you're not involved in all this. All right. Then tell me this. Why are you, who fought alongside us to defeat Malos, now standing by his side? Jin fought against him. It's very simple. I realized he had the right of it. That's all. Mm. 
Jin's origin story? I don't think it's as simple as that at all. So clever. You always were too clever for your own good. Sorry. That's just the way I am. Mitra! Don't tell me! Yes. He's a blade too. He was the strongest blade in Torna until it fell in the war. So if Jin's fell, a blade, says the girl All right. who sank it. A blade. So is Malice Jin's driver? There were none stronger, yet none kinder either. And no one who hated to fight more than him. Why, Jin? What changed? What if I told you it was your fault? Mine. If you hadn't sealed yourself away. Then she'd still. Oh. So that's it. <gasps> oh shit, he's taking the mask off. That core crystal. That color. It's like blood. Careful. That crystal isn't normal. Put away your sword. My ability is to restrict a blade's every action. As long as you are a blade, there is nothing you can do to escape its clutch. Wait, restricting blade's powers? Then before, was that? Go ahead and try. So what is he now? Is he a flesh eater now or something? It's not gonna work. Uh, how? How is he still moving? Time to lose the cutscene. Even that Petroka girl couldn't withstand it. No, it's working. Who will His powers win the are certainly limited now, but Jim, he's one of the most powerful blades in history. Even so, we can beat him. We just have to work together. I don't think so. We just kicked your ass. What? <gasps> what? what? Fun. Did you just? It's like it's like the fight you never happened. Safe. Nothing personal, Hayes. you this blades are granted phenomenal power from our creator on high yet we are doomed to never remember Let's write a book what the accumulation of memories is what allows mankind no all life to grow change evolve but blades are fleeting when we return to our cores our memories are lost our growth snatched away forever People aren't so different. Man's life too has an end, yes. However, though each individual life is fleeting, you pass on your memories, allowing you to grow as a species, as a culture. Why does Indol control all the core crystals? What? By controlling the moment of every blade's birth, they enslave our entire kind. How is that fair? We have no culture because Indol decrees it. Because that's what your kind do. Jin. Why are you the masters and we the slaves? It is we who embody the very nature of this world. Blades embody the world. I don't get what you... If you saw the last state of humanity, you'd understand. Now that you have come this far, there can be no turning back. But I'm afraid your journey ends here. This is so stupid. What? Why now? Hey, no! 
Now's our chance. Huh? What are you standing around for? Show that scumbag what's what. What? It's Akos. Malos sent me. Time to make an exit. Ready? Akos fast traveled here. Who says we're going to let you go? <laughs> you really don't understand, do you? You really think this is over? What the? How? We cut the bloody cable! Certainly. But some energy still remains deep in its core. Don't you see? It's like a blade weapon. But how is how is the energy getting there when the cable's cut? Well, you seem busy. I'll leave you to it. Bye. Wait. <laughs> now we have to cut a level 37 cable. Okay, time to take Wait, you I down. You what? What? What just happened you. there? That was this so fucking bad. stupid. <laughs> What the fuck just happened there? I can't wait for the turret to beat us in the cutscene afterwards. Oh wow, we actually beat the turret. I'm meant to be a driver now. I have a blade of my own. I couldn't do anything. Fuck. Nothing's changed. I'm just as weak as I've always been. Jin, what happened to make you like this? What is that? this rate i don't think there's any stopping them how so they think more Ardain attacked them illegally with no declaration of war this is bad if someone doesn't explain what's really going on but there's no time for that so what we just give up heavy cannons that's Uriah's main weapon. Here too. More Ardain also readying artillery. I don't care if we're not gonna make it in time. We need to get to Uriah. Right. Fast travel. Wait. Okay, chapter five, Masters and Slaves. Chapter six, Wounds. You, you little scamp. Do you know how much the core you took was worth? I stole it from the castle. Three years it took me to get it. And now... Oh, what the fuck? Please! She's barely ten years old! Silence! 
Lawrence, stay out of it. Fuck the scar. If you die, it'll be as good as new. The scar real? You brought this on yourself. From now on, I'll protect you. I'll keep you safe. Always. Okay, so this is the the girl that's in the um My name is in the Jim. crystal. What's yours? Okay. I can't remember her name. Laura. Laura, there we go. It seems like sending Alcos was the right choice. You all right? I've been through worse. I can handle it. Jin, I swear I'll make your dream come true. So stop putting yourself at risk. There's still time. Mm. Why was he wearing the mask? Is it just so we Is couldn't see his crystal? Part of your dream, too? What are we in the end? This hunger I feel, this thirst. Is it really my own? Or is it someone else's? <laughs> Sometimes I can't tell. Tell me, Jin. Are you really here? I don't know where I really am. Damn. You're starting to sound like a human. Oh, yeah. Perhaps we're not so different after all. Chad Martha's uh, getting deep. Humans. Is Agos a blade, too? Okay, so how was the big fight resolved? Are, are we gonna deal with that? Shit, it's totally not Rex. It's Rex's brother. You're the long lost prince. Oh, am I? Yeah, you are, Rex. Oh, you talk like really. I know, because we're brothers. Oh, we look What's the same. The deal with oh, this thing shit. By? A tribunal, it looks like. Praetor on Malthus is here in person. And who's going to argue with the Praetor? Does he have any clue how many men we lost? If those Ardanians get away with this, architect, damn it. Quit your grumbling, mate. All this is way beyond our pay grade. You got that right. We're all just faceless cannon fodder to the bigwigs. CEO says jump, we jump. Where are the Canadian? Where's the Canadian time? What? How are we back here? Morning, folks. Everyone sleep well? No. Not a wink. Figured as much. Let's take a nice walk over to the hall where the emergency summit's being held. Clear our heads a little. Someone's got to escort Morag over there, right? How did we get here? I think I would be perfectly capable of finding my own way. And Mithra's meant to be attending too, right? Apparently, yes. See, you might as well all head over. I guess you're right. Let's go then. What? 
Through here is the venue for the Summit of Nations. I must apologize, but entry is forbidden to all but the official representatives of each nation. I guess this is as far as we go. Yes, Bridget and I will proceed to the summit. I'm coming with you. And so are you, and so are you, Mithra, remember? I guess. Which means Rex has to go. I'm not sure I like it, but I suppose I have to play my part in all this. Rex, you head back to our chambers with the others and wait for us. Wow. Wow. Get fucked, Rex. Get shit on, Rex. You're, you're, you're delegated to Torah duty. Get shit on, Rex. Wow. My deepest thanks to you for agreeing to this ceasefire, Queen Rakura, Emperor Nile. As I recall from the Assyrian Treaty of 350 years ago, the Praetorium was to refrain from intervention in times of war. And yet here you are intervening. But I trust you have a suitable justification, Your Eminence. Naturally. But first, to ensure impartiality in these negotiations, may I present Nira Nira, acting chairman of the Argentum Trade Guild. Great. Furthermore, representing the Tantalese, His Highness the Crown Prince Ozikyrus Brunev Tantal will also be attending. The Crown Prince? The Prodigal Prince of Tantal. <laughs> Spectacle. Seems the Praetor has as much clout around here as ever. Could we not just take them out here and now? Good point. All the principal nations' heads gathered here. It'd make things easy later. The way to the world tree must first be opened. Wiping out mankind is the easy part. We could manage that ourselves. Even so. That isn't our only goal, remember? We must wait for the stage to be set. Is Jin serious about this? Yeah. I've been wondering that myself. <laughs> oh, he's serious. He always is. He will annihilate mankind, and then... He will kill... The architect. <gasps> no, not the architect. We are, we don't know nothing about him, but <gasps> oh no! Why don't we just kill the Praetor guy right now, and then Malice will go back into his core crystal? Now, it seems. Let's just do that right now. More Ardain has been accused of a unilateral breach of treaty in this matter. Emperor Nile, I open the floor to you. Is there anything you wish to say? While we are still conducting investigations into the cause. It cannot be denied that weaponry belonging to our forces was discharged against Uriah. Regardless of any possible reason and circumstance, we are prepared to offer recompense for this grave offense. So you want to settle this with money? We will provide any compensation deemed necessary. Perhaps I misunderstand. That's why we're not allowed in the scene, by the Tonight way. Because he would see Rex and go, almost <gasps> as if you mean to Long last that battle. The blame for these offenses brother. Does not lie with your majesty at all. We are investigating. I ask that we not draw any hasty conclusions. What need is there for investigation? I believe a cause has already been established. There are witnesses. And that would be? What a preposterous notion. The people you speak of are merely a terrorist group. How could they possibly command that measure of... It's the truth. I, Ozyclyrus, swear this in the name of King Eulogimenos Tantal. Can confirm... Ex <laughs> I love his voice. Give these people some kind of supplies. Military <gasps> supplies, methinks, and in great number. 
Yes. But why would... What if I were to tell you that the Aegis Malos, <gasps> who raised the world five centuries ago, was involved? Ridiculous. Everyone knows he disappeared in a blaze of flame. He's very much alive, believe me. That arsehole, I mean, the Aegis has confronted us in person. And if my word is not enough for you... A blade? But... but that core crystal... <gasps> this is another Aegis. Named Mithra. Your Highness has heard of her, surely. So the rumors that reached us were true. Who is its driver? If you knew that, I dare say your surprise would be even greater. But that is not the matter we are here to discuss, Your Highness. This is a dire situation. Six o'clock already. Mithra's been in there for a long time um. now. We've just got to trust them. They're dealing with the leaders of whole nations. It's not like there's anything you or me can do to help. Ugh. I've noticed something about Malos. He's an Aegis, but you wouldn't know it from how he's fighting. I think... I'm pretty sure he's damaged in some way. You mean he can't use the full extent Who of his powers? Who are you? The wounds I dealt in our battle long ago may not be completely healed. His end goal is Elysium. He wants to go back to the place he was born. There he can heal until his powers have recovered. If Malos is allowed to restore himself, the horrors of five centuries past will return. Or worse still, Malos's goal is simple. He means to destroy humanity in its entirety. Why would anyone desire that? Perhaps he doesn't even need a reason. It seems to be a deep-seated drive. An instinct. As natural as breathing. All of this is my responsibility. Traitor Amalthus? Whatever do you mean? It was none other than I who awakened Malos and unleashed him upon the world. So, your eminence, the rumor that you were once Malos's driver is... I never intended to obscure the truth. It is writ plain for all to see in history books. I was a fool. It was to prevent such foolishness that all passage to the World Tree was forbidden after the Aegis War. However, it has become apparent that the laws of men do not apply to Malos. The time may have come to lift that restriction. I appreciate this. Don't think you've earned my trust. But since Rex is going to Elysium, their paths are bound to cross. That's all. I'm surprised. You seem so devoted to the boy. Listen, it's we have an overdrive sex. protocol. Let's give it to you. You use it and overdrive you Malice onto Rex. Story over. Who is it that you're living for? <laughs> Story over. Let's just do that. Hmm. 
Morning, folks. You're looking a bit better slept than yesterday. Pretty much. Fan state funeral not is to be held today, is it not? Uh, didn't she just turn back into a core crystal? Yeah, I think it was meant to be happening in the Sierra's Plaza right outside the Sanctum. You'll be going right, chum? Yes, it would be wrong for me not to. We, yeah, we knew her for a whole day. Sierra's Plaza, not very not far away. Time to go, quick, quick. Master Pond, so bossy sometimes. I guess they did call her a goddess. The state funeral makes sense. Shouldn't you be with him? He's a boy. Best not to bother them at times like this. Cold. <laughs> I expected you'd be more clingy. You really are different from her. Actually, letting him be was more her idea than mine. Really? Pirates? Get out. So wait. You're saying you want to go be clingy or what? I'll burn you. I can't, I can't. Sheesh. Um, why isn't she turning back into a core crystal? It's weird though. What is? I mean, don't you think it's odd? Normally, if a blade or its yeah. driver dies, it'll just go back to being a core crystal. So why is Fan just dead? I did wonder the same thing. There's only one way I know for a dead blade to keep its physical form. Remember Minnow? I mean Cole. He was a flesh eater. Yeah. But Fan wasn't a flesh eater. I can say that for sure. What's that? That's the shape of Fan's core crystal. Well, how it used to be. But now it's a triangle. Rex and I are quite a unique case, but this is different still. How is it different? If a blade shares its core with another, its shape changes in a uniform fashion. In our case, the center part went to Rex, and the outer part to us. I don't know why that is, but it seems to be a rule. But Fans isn't like that. Exactly. It looks more like someone stole her core, doesn't it? <laughs> I was laughing. Someone said something in chat that was making me laugh. Where was it? I couldn't say because they were talking. Where was it? Rex says, you smell wonderful, Pyra. We're at a funeral, Rex. You smell wonderful at this funeral. <laughs> that could be that could be a line from the, the game. <laughs> That's so good. I love how they're saying Indol controls all the core crystals when that's blatantly not true. I've gotten core crystals from from salvaging, core crystals from killing monsters. Got we got we got we showed the core crystals come from Titans. It's just it's that's just blatantly not true. Indol does not control the core crystals. My apologies. Did I keep you waiting? No, not really. What were you doing? I was cleansing the core crystals. It markedly increases their resonance success rate. Bonding with a crystal carries certain risks, you understand. Like nosebleeds. I know. When I became the driver of an Aegis, this power was awakened in me. So I might be able to do it too? No. Who knows? Different people are cut out for different things. Right, yeah. Now then, my work is done for the day. Come with me. Uh, 
A special envoy? To Tantar? Me? Correct. Behold. As a salvager, I imagine you are already aware. But this is all rest. The world we currently <laughs> inhabit. We make our home on Titan, moving in circles around the world tree. And here lies the great uh... void. This void came into being 500 years ago. It did not exist prior Wow, to just when you went to the world tree. So I've heard. Huh. It's in our way anyway. It stopped us reaching the world tree. The great void is carved from the cloud sea by a monstrous beast known as Ophion. Wait, you mean that thing? They are shipped out from the Praetorium. There was a cutscene earlier which explained that. Precise, well, some of them are, but the ones that I'm salvaging off of the, off of the uh, underwater, the, the surface of the seabed, aren't sal it's coming from Praetorium. The ones I'm getting off of monsters when I kill them aren't coming from Praetorium. And the one we got from a dead Titan was, didn't come from Praetorium. That was fresh. Like a raw steak. Ophion was felled in the ancient battle with Malos, sinking below the clouds. This means someone must have revived it. Correct. And you're saying that someone was Zeke's home country, Tantal? Yes. They gave Ophion one directive. To ensure that none approach the World Tree. They sought to prevent a repeat of the horrors of the Aegis War. So, an obstacle was created. The Great Void. How did they manage a feat like that? As I've said, mankind is regressing. Only one artifact remains that can rescind Ophion's orders, and it lies in Tantal. It's called the Omega Feta, and it's guarded by the royal family. Which is you. I'll take you to it. I've prepared your envoy documents already. Your quest is to set foot in Elysium, correct? Malos and his ilk will surely seek the Omega Feta for themselves. I would ask you to reach Elysium before they do and inform me of what you find there. Do it as a favor for a once foolish old man. Once foolish. And so that people may have a future in this dying world. Shall I? 